year 1883, the great volcano of Krakatoa in the Straits of Sunda, near Java and Sumatra, achieved worldwide notoriety by its mighty upheavals, resulting in the loss of thousands of lives. Then, for half a century, came a period of comparative calm, until about six years ago, when from below the surface of the Straits, the most extraordinary phenomena became visible, the gradual growth of a new Krakatoa, thrusting forth its mighty head from far below the sea. Taking their lives in their hands, our expedition ventures as close as it dare to the spot and awaits the vast explosions from below the waters. Here it comes, a mighty fountain of red-hot rock, gas, flame and steam, projected enormous heights into the calm sky. White clouds of steam, dense black gas fumes and masses of lava are belched upwards. Just imagine the fate of any vessel caught in this terrible eruption, compared with which the biggest depth charges of the war are but toys. On the nearby islands, ceaseless watch is being kept, so that if the worst comes to the worst, the inhabitants may be warned in time to get away in safety. The last time Krakatoa burst, a terrible tidal wave swept over this coast and thousands perished. Now come with us on a plane for a glance, flying as close as we dare to the vast and ever-increasing eruptions, which sometimes reach over 3,000 feet into the sky. The natives here firmly believe that the new volcano, which is rapidly rising from the waters, is the spirit of the old Krakatoa, threatening death to all who stay. And week after week, a new island of lava is being born from out the Earth's thin crust, and not one of us knows how it will end. Whether it will die away gradually, or whether another catastrophe is due to come to the world, and sorrow and mourning fill the homes of those far-off islanders. Yes, that is Krakatoa, the wonder of the Sunder Straits, captured by the magic eye of the cine camera and the daring men behind it. <laughs>